While discussing NBC's brief hiring and subsequent firing of election-denying former Republican National Committee chairwoman Ronna McDaniel, a Fox propagandist visibly panicked after putting his foot in his mouth, taking a cheap shot about former White House press secretaries who then transition into media, not realizing he was sitting next to a former George W. Bush press secretary, Dana Perino, who promptly called him out. But before we unpack all that, if you end up liking this video and you want to support the channel, please be sure to hit the like, subscribe, and alert bell before you go. I'd greatly appreciate it. All right, friends, this is a lot of fun, and quite frankly, there's a lot to the broader topic about NBC's hiring and firing of Ronna McDaniel, the former Republican National Committee chairwoman. Uh, right now, this is red meat for everybody. Everybody's weighing in on this, and there's a lot to the story, but I can't wait to show you this clip of this Fox propagandist trying to take a cheap shot at Jen Psaki, President Biden's former White House press secretary, who now has an opinion show on um, MSNBC called Inside with Jen Psaki. But before we get to that, yeah, Ronna McDaniel, um, her brief tenure at NBC is over. Uh, the uh, C-suite at NBC folded to pressure correctly um, and the public outcry and gave Ronna McDaniel the ax. And reporting is that she intends to sue for the full contract and perhaps more. I think it was a two-year contract to $300,000 a year, so $600,000. But given who Ronna McDaniel is, I'm sure she'll go for much more than that. And listen, Fox News is very upset about this. And a lot of right-wing media is very upset about this because as far as they're concerned, this is, you know, cancel culture. It's a refusal to have on divergent viewpoints. And what about, you know, people who are pro-Trump? Well, it's funny, again, before we play this clip, because Donald Trump himself does not care and seems to be delighting in the fact that Ronna McDaniel was fired by NBC. This is what he had to say. Wow, Ronna McDaniel got fired by fake news NBC and she only lasted two days and this was after. McDaniel went out of her way to say what they wanted to hear. It leaves her in a very strange place. It's called Never Never Land and it's not a place you want to be implying that uh, he, she betrayed him, and, and now she's a persona non grata on the left, which she should be, and also in MAGA world. So what's going to happen now? Now, the thing she wanted, or that the left wanted to hear, was the idea, the fact, rather, that the 2020 election wasn't stolen. Joe Biden was the free, uh, was the, is the winner, the legitimate winner of a free and fair election. That's what the facts reflect. That's what the records and all the audits reflect. And Ronna McDaniel resisted that. She tried to help Donald Trump steal the election from President Biden, and she fomented the idea that the 2020 election was not free and fair. But then, when grilled by Kristen Welker on NBC, McDaniel folded and admitted that it was a free and fair election, and Joe Biden won fair and square. So obviously, that pissed off Donald Trump. And so again, she's in this awkward no man's land. But I want to play this clip. This I saw this. I, I can't help it. it. It is funny. It's genuinely funny. So the guy on the far right here, his name is Tom Shilu, and he's talking to, I, I forget the, the lady on the far left, what her name is, uh, but yeah, Bill Hammer and Dana Perino, Dana Perino the blonde, who in addition to hosting America's Newsroom, is a main host on The Five. So she constantly spars with Jessica Tarlov. Now I'm going to play this clip. And uh, again, we're going to dive into how funny it is. Yeah, how the media covers it. Got a lot of primary nights that MS, MS, they didn't, even, they didn't even take Trump's speech. Yeah. Yeah. Did it happen? The other thing they don't realize is that nothing unites the Republicans like a media bias story. <laughs> <laughs> so, congrats. I should also say this for context. The reason that he's going to reference Jen Psaki is because Jen Psaki is part of MSNBC. MSNBC is a subsidiary of NBC, and Jen Psaki was furious, rightly so, about the hiring of Ronna McDaniel. That's the context for this. Congratulations on your own goal. Yeah, and I would say, Jen Psaki, is she a journalist? Does she, does what she does, look at her job description and look at her performance, is it closer to Edward Murrow, or is it closer to what she used to do at the White House? Well, you could it's say that, you could ask the same about me. Yeah, but is, I will ask you, okay. is you, <laughs> is your job indistinguishable from what you did at the White House? I don't see you s sitting defending, well, uh, you know, uh, Republican talking points throughout your, and if you correct. look at you on the five, we're getting your opinion, and everyone knows your opinion comes from someone who came from the Republican from the, yeah, Party, I'm right? 
<laughs> I just I love it. The the oh, he forgot about that. You can see that you can hear it in his voice, the panicked inflection, the stammering. Bill Hammer is sitting here just staring at the interaction like I, I can't even. It's tough. That's hilarious. I'm actually surprised that Dana Perino would kind of sandbag this poor schmuck like this because I mean, it's the truth, right? But kudos to her for pointing that out. Well, geez, you could say the same thing about me because as a reminder, yes, Dana Perino was the White House press secretary for President George W. Bush, and she migrated to the Fox Propaganda Network. And hey, listen, it makes sense. It's a match made in heaven. Jen Psaki is doing the same damn thing that Dana Perino does. But here's the difference. Unlike Dana Perino, Jen Psaki is not a newscaster. She's not that she's not hosting America's newsroom. She is ho hosting a political opinion show called Inside with Jen Psaki. Of, it is an opinion. It's political commentary. It's not political news. Actually, you could easily make the argument that what uh, Dana Perino is doing and what Fox tries to do with Dana Perino is infinitely more unscrupulous because they try to blur the line between opinion and news all the damn time. How is it that you can have someone hosting America's Newsroom, who is a former Republican president's press secretary, and then she transitions to the five on the same night, and she is, you know, singing the praises and defending every MAGA and Trump talking point, like there's no relationship between these things. You could easily make the argument that what Fox is doing is try to trying to launder Dana Perino as this credible straight news journalist. MSNBC is not doing that with Jen Psaki. And so watching Tom Shiloh in real time just crumble. Uh, 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 well, it's, it's, it's different when you do it. You're not sitting. You don't come to a Fox News studio and just peddle Republican talking points. I mean, I, I mean, I, I, obviously you do on the five, but the five, I mean, that's it. That's a five o'clock. And this is like at 11 a.m. Like people understand how time works and like people's perceptions and biases and ideologies. They change. When it's like 11 a.m. versus 5 p.m. Everybody, everybody knows that, Dana. It's so funny. I mean, this guy is so pathetic. And them clutching their pearls over the firing of Ronna McDaniel as if she's just some random Republican. Listen, I also agree that it is good for, to have uh, opposition viewpoints on a network, right? But they also have to be good faith. And it's pretty damn hard to find a good faith Republican in the age of Trump. Ron McDaniel definitely ain't it. Um, I actually want to play this one clip here. Somebody puts it really, really well. It's uh, Timothy Snyder, I believe is the author's name. This is what he has to say in terms of the problem. If you were to like distill it to like 30 seconds, the problem with hiring Ronna McDaniel. What, what NBC has done is they've invited into what should be a, a normal framework, someone who doesn't believe that that framework should exist at all. Right. Again, we're not talking about legitimate policy disagreements. We're not even talking about ridiculous policy disagreements. A good example, Ken Buck, former Republican congressman from Colorado who, who resigned recently. Dude has unhinged views on abortion, on climate change. He's as far right as it gets. But he also recognizes that President Biden won the election, and he's actually infuriated that the Republican Party under Trump has leaned so much into election denialism. That is a good faith oppositional viewpoint um, that you can get behind. But again, Fox is deliberately blurring the lines in order to take cheap shots at the opposition, NBC, MSNBC. And so, again, that's what Tom Shilu tried to do. And I love how in real time he put his foot in his mouth and just visibly crumbled on live TV. It's great stuff. Let me know what you think in the comments.